Last time, we talked about simplifying radicals. This time, it's all about adding and subtracting them. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching for my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, this is part two ng ating revamped series, Pagdating sa Radicals. And if you haven't seen part one yet, where we talked about simplifying radicals, go ahead and click on the i button right here if you're watching on YouTube. It's very important for you to watch that video para makakatch up kayo. Kasi yung mga ginawa natin dun sa first part ay gagawin din natin pagdating sa pagkocombine or pag-a-add and subtract ng mga radicals. Alright? And um, just a quick little vlog before we jump into yung ating lesson. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education here in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through buying our merch like this shirt right here that I'm wearing. You'll never stop learning shirt natin. You can go and visit shop.teamlaika.com to find out how you can get yours. Uh, pa rin na rin yung iba pang mga klase ng mga merch that I designed for this team. The mugs, the hoodies, and stuff like that. Alright? Sa so, mga nakabili na, maraming salamat. Sa bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. And uh, thank you for helping me help more people through this channel. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating lesson on adding and subtracting radicals. Pagsasamahin na natin yung addition sa subtraction kasi yung same principles naman ang nag apply Okay? Now, when we talk about adding and subtracting radicals, very important na alam ninyo yung gagawin pagdating sa simplifying ng radicals. So again, I can't stress this enough. If you haven't seen part 1 ng series na ito, Hanapin nyo muna siya, kasi kapag nakuha nyo na yun, mas madali na ito. Okay? Now, let's take an example like this. If we have square root of 2 plus the square root of 3, anong gagawin natin dito? Now, kapag nag-add tayo ng radicals, ang isa sa mga kailangan nating tingnan is yung number na nasa ilalim or yung ating radicand. Kailangan, para mapagsama ko sila, pareho yung iyong mga radicand. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, much like yung lesson natin pagdating sa uh, pagkocombine ng like terms, ng variables, ang ating radicand naman ang nagsaserve as yung apelido, okay, or last name, ng ating mga pinagsasama. So, kapag pareho sila ng apelido or last name, that's the time na mapagsasama mo sila. So, kung merong ganitong klaseng tanong sa inyong exam, that's actually a trick question kasi hindi mo na siya pwedeng galawin. So, ang final answer na yan would be this. Square root of 2 plus square root of 3. Yan na yun. Okay? Now, kapag ganito naman, if you have the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2, dahil this time, pareho na sila ng apelido, okay? Pareho na sila na square root of 2, ibig sabihin, pwede ko na silang mapagsama. Now, how do I do that? Again, much like yung ginagawa natin sa... Uh, variables, for example, if you have a plus a, dahil sabi natin, di ba pareho sila ng apelido or last name, pwede ko silang pagsamahin, ang kakalabasan nito ay 2a. Okay? Bakit? Kasi merong hindi nakasulat na 1 dito at 1 din dito. Ang gagawin natin, yung numbers pagsasamahin natin, so 1 plus 1 is 2, tapos kokopyahin lang natin yung apelido. Okay? So the answer is 2a. So following that, anong sagot nito? Ang gagawin natin, again, just to visualize it, we have a 1 there, another 1 here. Kung magsasamahin ko sila, that would be 1 plus 1, ibig sabihin 2. Tapos, kukopihin natin yung kanyang apelido, last name, which is square root of 2. So, the answer is 2 square root of 2. Okay? Yan yung ating final answer. Bakit? Kasi pareho na sila ng radicand, pareho sila ng index number, which is 2. Pwede ko sila pagsamahin. Now, paano naman kung ganito? Yan. Pinagtabi-tabi ko it, talaga ito kasi I want you to master yung pinaka-principle ng ano yung pwede kong i-add at it subtract at alin yung hindi. Bakit? Kasi if you notice, pareho siyang 2 ang radicand. However, okay, kung meron kayong keen eye for details, which is again a very important part ng math, you would notice cube root ito. Ito naman ay square root. Kasi nga sabi natin, kapag walang number na nakalagay, automatic square root siya. And requirement din para maging parehong-pareho ang apelido or ang kanyang, uh, kanyang last name is dapat pareho ka na ng index number, pareho ka pa ng radicand. So, ibig sabihin, yung cube root of 2 plus the square root of 2, ano ang final answer natin? 
yan na rin. Hindi natin siya pwedeng galawin o hindi natin siya pwedeng pagsamahin. Okay? So again, checklist tayo. Ano yung mga kailangan? Dapat pareho ng index number. Okay? And dapat pareho din ng radicand. Okay? Or yung number na nasa ilalim ng payong natin. Okay? Now, let's try something else. Paano kung ganito na siya? At first glance, and again, this is where a lot of people make mistakes. At first glance, sa unang tingin ko, parang hindi ko siya pwedeng pagsamahin kasi magkaiba eh. Square root of 12 at saka square root of 3. However, dahil yung square root of 12 ay hindi pa siya nakasimplify, ang una natin kailangan subukan gawin ay isimplify ito. Na again, following yung ginawa lang natin, na ipa-factor 3 lang natin siya, dun sa last nating video, you can write 4 times 3 ito. Ang 4 ay 2 times 2. At dahil ito ay square root, di ba? Pareho siyang square root, hindi lang nakasulat yung 2. Kapag pares, pwede na natin siya ilabas sa payong. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang square root of 12 ay 2 square root of, at yung tira, nag-iisa, walang kapares, may iiwan siya. Okay? Kaway-kaway sa mga single dyan. 2 square root of 3 plus another square root of 3. Now again, dahil this time, if you notice pareho na sila ng apelido, pareho rin niya ng index number, ibig sabihin, pwede ko sila pagsamahin. At itong square root of 3 na to ay may invisible lang. Again, hindi natin yung sulat na 1. So, ang gagawin natin ay 2 plus 1, which is going to give us 3. Tapos, kukopyahin natin yung kanyang last name or apelido, 3 square root of 3, ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, ganun lang. Yun yung steps natin na kailangan itake. Simplify nyo muna. Tapos pagsamahin, lahat ng pwedeng pagsamahin. The next question would be, paano kapag subtraction na? Now again, it's the same thing. Simplify, and then pagsamahin ang pareho ang apelido. Bakit? Let's try this out. No? We have 3 square root of 12 minus the square root of 48. Una kong gagawin ay i-factor muna itong mga ito para makita natin. So you have 4 and 3. Again, ang 4 ay perfect square. Dalawang... 2 yan. So, ibig sabihin, pwede kong ilabas yung 2. May iiwan yung 3 sa loob. Now, the next question would be, eh, coach, paano to? May 3 na dyan. Pag nilabas ko tong 2, anong mangyayari dyan? Ang mangyayari dyan would be 3 times yung nilabas ko, which is 2, square root of, yung natira sa loob, which is 3. Ulit, ha? Again, kapag may number na na nauuna na, na, dyan, kapag tayo naglabas ng number galing sa payong, multiply natin siya sa number na nasa labas bago natin titingnan ko ano yung mga naiwan sa loob. So, hindi ito 32. Okay? Hindi siya 3 plus 2 square root of 3. Siya ay 3 times 2 square root of 3. Very important yan to note kasi marami nagkakamali dyan. So, ibig sabihin ko ito ay 3 times 2 square root of 3. etong 3 square root of 12 ay pwede natin isulat na simplified version 6 square root of 3. Okay? Now, etong square root of 48 naman, anong gagawin ko dyan? Same thing, if a factor lang natin. So, you can do 4 and 12. Okay? Kasi 4 times 12 is 48. Ang 12 naman ay 4 times 3. So again, if you notice, pares na agad itong 4. Hindi ko na siya kailangan i-factor further. Ilalabas ko na siya ng diretsyo. Big sabihin, dahil wala namang number dito, isusulat ko na siya. This will be 4 square root of 3. Now, anong gagawin natin next? Ima-minus daw natin yan. Now, much like yung addition kanina, pareho sila ng apelido. So, pwede ko silang pagsamahin. Ang gagawin ko lang would be 6 minus 4, which is 2. Tapos, ko kopyahin ko yung apelido, which is square root of 3. So, the answer here would be 2 square root of 3. Okay? Ganun lang siya. So, again, simplify, pagsamahin, and then solve. Now, paano kung ganito? I-level up na natin sa isang problema, meron kang addition, meron kang subtraction, at walang pare-pareho ang radicand. Now, the first thing, again, same thing as before, if a factor lang muna natin, or isi-simplify natin yung radicals. Ang 32 ay pwedeng 4 times 8, kasi 8, 16, 24, 32. Ang 8 ay pwedeng maging 4 and 2. So, ibig sabihin nun, again, pwede kong ilabas yung 4 sa payong at may matitirang 2. So, itong una ay magiging 4 square root of 2. Yung next naman, you have 27. So, kung isi-split ko siya, this can be 9 and 3. Now, ang 9 ay parang 3 and 3 kasi 3 times 3 is 9. So, ibig sabihin ito, pwede ko siyang ilabas sa payong, di ba? At ito ang maiiwan naman sa loob. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong plus, kasi plus ito, 3 square root of 3. Now, itong dalawang ito, wala pa akong pwedeng gawin dyan kasi magkaiba sila ng 
radikan, kahit pareho sila ng index number. So, titignan ko uli yung kasunod. Here you have 18. Ang 18 ay 9 times 2. Which means, yung 9, which is 3 and 3, ay pwede kong ilabas doon sa payong, dahil pare sila, may iiwan naman yung 2. So, kung nilabas ko yung 3 dito, this will be negative 2 times 3, that would be negative 6, or minus 6, times the square root of yung natira sa loob, which is 2. So, kung pagsasama-samahin ko sila, etong may apelido na square root of 3, wala akong pwedeng gawin dyan, kasi wala siyang kapareho. Pero yung 4 at 6, dahil pareho silang square root of 2 ang apelido, pwede ko silang pagsamahin. So, 4 minus 6, that would be negative 2 square root of 2. So, ang sagot natin would be, kukopihin lang natin itong isa, 3 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2. Yan yung final answer natin. So, again, ganun pa rin yung steps, di ba? You simplify, tapos you combine everything that you can combine. Alright? Now, uh, mas maganda if you can try it out. So, meron tayong quick quiz. There will be three questions. Pahirap ng pahirap siya. Pero I know kaya nyo ito. If you need extra time, you can hit pause. Pero at the end of yung ating one and a half minutes, we're going to solve it together. So, you can find out kung ano yung tamang sagot. Alright? If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, ito na muna tayong unang problem. Sabi dito sa square root of 6 minus the square root of 54. So, sa unang tingin, parang nakakakaba, no? Kasi meron tayong mas maliit na, na radicand bago yung mas malaki. Pero, huwag kayong kakabahan, sisimulan lang natin siyang isolve. Okay? So, you have yung square root of 6. Dahil ang square root of 6, ang factors lang naman niya ay 3 and 2. Magkaiba sila. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ko pwedeng ilabas ang kahit ano sa kanila. Magsistay siya as square root of 6. Which actually gives us a clue kung ano yung kailangan natin gawin sa 54. Kasi, tatanungin natin yung sarili natin agad, pwede ba to sa 6? Now, pwede siya sa 6, di ba? Kasi, 6 times 9 ang 54. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, anong kailangan kong gawin? Kailangan ko lang na split yung 9 sa 3 and 3. Kasi again, square root siya. Yung 3 ngayon, dahil pares siya, pwede ko na siyang ilabas. So, so this will be square root of 6, kinopya ko lang, minus 3 square root of, at yung natitira sa loob would be 6 din. So, 3 square root of 6. Na ano nang gagawin ko dito? Ima-minus ko siya. Now again, don't forget, kapag meron kayong square root of 6, ang ibig sabihin nun, meron ditong 1 na hindi lang natin, sinusul hindi lang natin sinusulat. So, this will be 1 minus 3, so that would give us negative 2 square root of 6. Kung ang sagot ninyo ay kulang, kung ay negative 3 kasi nakalimutan nyo ilagay yung 1, tandaan nyo lang yan sa susunod, lagi yung nangyayari. And make sure na kapag walang kapares ay hindi na natin siya pwedeng ilabas. Okay? So, again, dito papasok yung kaya a lot of people have difficulty with math kasi halo-halo na lahat ng lessons muna nung tayo yung grade school, pinagsasama-sama natin sila dito sa mas advanced na mga topics. But again, if you master this, kasulod na yan yung mga calculus problems, kasulod na yan yung mga factoring ng mga uh, multiple na polynomials, magagawa nyo yun kung mamamaster nyo ito. Okay? 
Alright, so ito yung ating second problem. We have 5 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2 plus 3 square root of 8. Now, ang first natin gagawin, pwede na natin pagsamahin ito agad kasi pareho na sila ng apelido, which is square root of 2. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So, negative 1 square root of 2 or kung isusulat natin, negative square root of 2 na lamang. Now, idadagdag pa natin yung 3 square root of 8. Ito pwede pa natin i-factor. So, we have 4 and 2. Ang 4 ay perfect square kasi 2 times 2 yan. So, ibig sabihin yung 2 pwede kong ilabas sa labas. Okay, meron kang 3. Tapos, tatabihan ko siya nung 2. Again, ang ginagawa natin dito, minimultiply natin yan. So, ibig sabihin, this would be negative square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2. Ano nang gagawin natin next? So, here you have negative 1. Hindi lang natin susulat kasi yung 1, di ba? Negative 1 plus 6. That would give us 5. Tapos, kukopyahin natin yung apelido. Pareho naman sila. 5 square root of 2. Ang tamang sagot. Now, if naguguluhan kayo kasi bakit may mga negative, may positive, anong ginagawa ko? Bakit naging negative yun? Bakit naging positive ito? We have a full series na on integers. You can click on the i button if you're watching this on YouTube. Nakalink din sa description box sa baba. You can brush up on that. Again, yun yung thing, you know. If you have learning gaps, uh, hindi tayo marunong mag-deal with negative numbers, we will have a harder time pagdating sa itong topic. Kaya, balikan yun na lang siya if meron kayong chance. Okay? Dito tayo sa number 3. 2 square root of 18 minus 5 square root of 63 plus 7 square root of 28. Okay? Now, walang pareho ang radicand. Pero what that means is pwede ko siyang um, isimplify pa. Yung square root of 18, this could be 9 and th 9 and 2. So, 9 times 2 is 18 kasi. So, yung 9, pwede siyang 3 and 3. Again, pares na siya, pwede ko siyang ilabas doon. Kung itatabi ko yung 3 sa 2, this will become 6 square root of yung natitira, 2. So, 6 square root of 2 yung 2 square root of 18. Now, ito namang minus or negative 5 times the square root of 63. Anong gagawin ko dyan? Isisplit ko rin yung 63 sa so ako nang pwede kong gawin. Ito ay divisible sa 3. Okay, so ibig sabihin nun, this will be 3 times 21. Okay, kasi ang ginawa lang natin is dinivide natin 63 by 3. Ang 21 ay 3 times 7, right? Kasi 7, 14, 21. So, meron na tayong pares dito ng 3. Pwede natin siya ilabas. Okay? This time, negative 5 yung imumultiply natin doon sa 3. So, that would be negative 15 square root of 7. Okay? Now, the next one, again, i-factor natin yung 28. Pwede agad ito, if mapapansin nyo, 7 agad. Okay? Kasi, 7 times 4 is 28. Ang 4, perfect square din siya. That is 2 and 2. Pares na siya, so pwede ko siyang ilabas. Here, we have 7 times 2 naman. So, that would be positive, kasi positive ito, no? Kaya, magiging plus yan. So, plus 14. Tapos, square root of yung natitirang number, which is 7. Okay? And now na meron na tayong pila ng ganyan, mapapansin natin may pwede tayong pagsamahin. Here you have negative 15 and positive 14, parehong square root of 7. So, ibig sabihin nun, negative 15 plus 14, that is going to give us negative 1. So, negative square root of 7 na lamang. Kukopyahin natin yung 6, square root of 2. Okay? So, that could be our answer. Now, some people or even some teachers would require na i-arrange ninyo yung inyong sagot depende sa kung ano yung radicand. In that case, kung gusto nila dapat na uuna yung mas malaki yung radicand, you can put yung negative square root of 7 first and write this as this, negative square root of 7 plus 6 square root of 2. Huwag nyo lang kakalimutan yung negative dito kasi kapag hindi nyo nalagay yan, ibang sagot na yun. Alright? Now, I hope you got all of these three correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Marivelio on Instagram. Do natin sa Instagram story pinopost yung mga bagong quick quizzes natin at bati mga ibang updates. And if you want throwback questions naman nandun siya sa Team Laika account and yung mga major announcements na natin, free workshops, webinars, and stuff like that, you can go to at Team Laika naman on Instagram. I also post new questions 
new quick quizzes sa aking TikTok account. We have at Team Laika for the educational content, math and English videos. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, may yung aking personal account where I post my motivational videos, tips and advice, at iba pang mga ano ang gusto ko lang na i-post, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla on TikTok din. Okay? See you guys online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more updates. You can also reach out to me directly. Write a comment sa baba kung may mga topics kayo na gusto natin i-cover sa mga susunod pang mga videos. Let me know sa baba uh, para ipilan natin yan sa listahan ng mga kailangan natin gawing lessons in the future. Alright? And don't forget to su subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell. Marami pa tayo mga susunod na pag-uusapan including yung multiplication tsaka division naman ng radical sa mga susunod natin mga videos. And if you don't want to miss that, hit that bell and turn your notifications for all para naman ma-receive nyo kapag ready na yung susunod. Alright? Thank you guys for watching and uh, as we always say in this channel, never stop learning. Aja aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. So thank you for staying until the end of the video. Maraming salamat sa pagsama ninyo sa akin. And if you want more video lessons, you can click on a video right here. And kung gusto niyo naman ako makilala a little bit more personally, you can go and check out my second channel, New Like a Maravilla Vlogs, right here. Just tap on the face, alright?